All right, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, for some reason, <laughs> it's um, the system is acting up a little bit. Yeah, you can always get a hundred percent. Um, so it's it's okay. So we're back on. Um, it's it's one of those days where things just <laughs> things happen. <laughs> uh, that is technology. Um, you can expect to get it all 100%. Once again, welcome, 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 ladies and gentlemen. Good evening, and uh, want to welcome you all to episode 13. I can believe it. And again, thank you for tuning in to episode 13 of my weekly Step Out, Step In podcast. Every Monday at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, I'll be coming your way. I'll be hosting um, this live Step Out, Step In podcast on YouTube, Facebook, and LinkedIn. YouTube, Facebook, and LinkedIn. And um, I just want to say if you have subscribed to my YouTube page, I say thank you. A big thank you. If you haven't, please subscribe and um, don't forget to click on the notification bell so that if I post anything, you'll be notified. And um, and also share and comment. Follow me. And don't forget to also support my podcast by clicking on the link. There's a link in there that says buy me a coffee. Uh, please click on it. It's just about a $5 donation. Uh, will help improve what I am doing. And again, thank you so much for for tuning in. Um, please share, at least share to you, invite one person. Um, if you can share, I'll be so grateful and so happy. <laughs> All right, so tonight, um, episode 13, and uh, let's see, what is this showing online? It's showing that it's upcoming. Hmm. All right. Okay, so let's let's go ahead. Um, if if you're tuned in, if you're online, um, you can give me some thumbs up or some uh, hats or I mean those emojis that keeps flying on the screen. <laughs> All right. So thank you, thank you, thank you again. My name is David Joe. I am a pastor, personal faith, an author, a husband, a father to my wonderful biological and spiritual children, and I am your friend. Please check out the other episodes on my YouTube page and on, on, and on Buzzsprout. That's another podcasting site. Episode 13. Episode 13. Okay. Episode 13. And tonight I want to talk about viewing the leadership through the lens of a commercial pilot. Viewing leadership through the lens of a commercial pilot. You know, leadership, as I always say, and as I have been saying, is not a position and it is not a title. Leadership is influence and nothing more, nothing less. That's how John Maxwell defines leadership. And I believe that if leadership is influence, then everyone is born with some leadership abilities or capabilities. And I'll say that I want you to look at leadership through the lens of a commercial pilot. You know, captains or pilot, uh, a pilot in command of a commercial airplane uh, have routine safety checklists to go through before every flight, regardless of how many times they have flown that particular aircraft or airplane or machine, let me put it that way. <laughs> you know, after I realized that after the technicians have performed their and completed and signed off on their safety checklist, 
the captain of the flight or the pilot in command of the flight also performs a safety inspection of the exterior of the exterior um, of the aircraft and the instruments they depend on. You know, not that the captain doesn't trust the the technicians. You know, uh, not that he doesn't track the uh, safety checklist, but because he's responsible, or because he or she is responsible for the 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 flight and the souls on board that flight, they have to ensure they perform their safety inspections or checklists as well. You know, after performing the safety inspection from startup of the engines to the pushback from the gate to taxiing for takeoff has to be authorized by an air traffic controller. You know, the air traffic controller sits in a tower uh, which is located in the airport. The pilot does not see the um, see or may not even know the air traffic controller, but can he always hear them and can always hear their voice over a two-way radio communication system. Commercial pilots will not take off from an airport without being cleared by an air traffic controller. Why am I reflecting on a commercial pilot? And I'm glad you want to know. <laughs> you know, you see, leadership most especially, let me put it this way, since I'm a person of faith, leadership, and when I talk about leadership, I'm re also referring to uh, Christian leadership as playing the role of a commercial pilot. We carry the lives of people to a destination of faith and hope. There, there are people in our families, our ministries, our churches, our communities, our businesses who look up to us for counsel, for direction, and one careless mistake can cost the lives of many individuals. You know, and, and as leaders, you have to depend on the voice of God for daily divine direction. The difference between you as a leader and the commercial pilot is that we know God but we sometimes cannot identify his voice to obey his instructions and commands due to distractions and our noisy environment. You know, as, as a leader, you and, 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 and the pilots, let me, let me go back. Let me, uh, it looks like I'm going ahead of myself. <laughs> you see, the, the pilots may not know, you know, the air traffic controller sits somewhere in the airport. All that the pilot hears is their voice. They don't see them, but they hear their voice and they every instructions they, they, they give them. As leaders, we have to begin the day with our safety checklist, or let me put it away this is this way, your safety checklist, the safety checks of prayer, studying the word of God, meditating on his word, and learning to hear his voice. You also have to come to the place in your life where you will take daily inventory of your actions and develop the mindset of hearing from God. When you wake up from the start of your day to going about your daily activities till you come to the end of your day you know god god has has you on his radar every single day just as the air traffic controllers see every airplane in the airspace on their radar by instructing the pilot to squawk a transponder code now, once the uh, once that in the code is given to the uh, the pilot and the squawking tra transponder, they are identified on the air traffic controller's radar, 
and they can identify every airplane in their airspace once that code is given. Regardless of how and when you wake up, make your open dialogue with God a priority. Let it be the number one thing. You know, lately, <laughs> I said that we, we live in a, a world of distractions. And, and the world is racing at a very fast pace. Do not allow yourself to be distracted by your phone, <laughs> by your tablet, social media, TV, when God is number one in your life. Do not leave your house without first speaking to God, who sees further than you do and who knows more than you know. Remember, leaders change the world, not followers. So as I said from the beginning that every, every one is born with some sort of leadership abilities and capabilities. Because if leadership is defined as influence, everyone has the ability to influence at least one person. You first of all must have to influence yourself. And that makes you a leader, you know. Today marks the, uh, the birthday of Martin, Martin Luther King Jr., one of the greatest uh, leaders of our time history cannot erase. His vision, his leadership, his wisdom, and his capacity to be, to be a transformational leader inspired change. Let me, let me give you one quote from out of his, his many quotes. And, and this quote, is, he said, the ultimate measure of a man is not where he stands in, in moments of comfort. You know, says so in moments of comfort and convenience, but where he stands at times of challenge and controversy, the true neighbor will risk his position, his pre uh, prestige, and even his life for the welfare of others. Let me, let me say that again. <laughs> and this is a quote from Ma Martin Luther King Jr. He says, the ultimate measure of a man is not where he stands in moments of comfort and convenience but where he stands at times of challenge and controversy. The true neighbor will risk his position, his prestige, and even his life for the welfare of others. In other words, a good leader will inspire their team and provide a strong sense of purpose and belonging. Now, they will always encourage and do everything possible to help everyone move forward during troubled times, challenging times, and help them see the light at the end of the tunnel. A leader leads not only when times are good, but when times are hard and bad. And we've all experienced that during the COVID-19 the pandemic season. That is when the true leaders came out. You know, leadership doesn't train you to, <laughs> most of the time for bad times, but true leaders evolve during challenging moments. Failure is inevitable. Yes. That, and, and that is why having a leader who can learn from their mistakes is so important because it will be that which will move your team forward will move your your people forward it will move your business your ministry everything forward so as we look at leadership through the lens of a commercial pilot all the safety checks to go through making sure that all the souls on board the flights are flown to their destination and they arrive safely with nobody losing their lives in 2023, be determined that you're going to be a leader 
who would change the world. <laughs> you don't need a, a masses of leaders. Sometimes it takes just one to start a movement that brings about change. Reflect on yourself. Look inside you. Look at the abilities and the capabilities you have to influence, to bring about positive change. You know, we live in a polarized world. <laughs> Our society is getting so polarized now. It's getting so toxic. But I believe that one person can make the change and can bring about that change. I don't even want to talk about politics. <laughs> I don't want to go there. It's getting very nasty now. But at least one person, and see that one person to be you, that you can make that change and bring that transformational change. Not just any change, but transformational and, and effective change. You know, So step out and step in to be that effective, that transformational and that agent of change who will always add value to people. And I always want to end with this. Now remember, remember that the world needs your unique gifts, talents, and abilities. Don't leave this world with a gift still unwrapped inside you. This year, let it be a year of a difference, not like any other year. I said I wrote this book, Step Out, Step In, talking about stepping out of your comfort zone. What I'm doing. <laughs> what I'm doing now is, is, is out of my comfort zone. Because, well, let me tell you something about me. I'm a very shy person. <laughs> Sometimes I tell people and they don't believe it, but I'm a really, really very shy person. I always want to hide behind the camera. But then if, if I've written a book that says, step out of your comfort zone, and I'm still staying in my comfort zone, then what was the sense of writing it? I have to practice what I have I, 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 I put on paper. <laughs> So this year, be determined that you're going to break away from all odds. Don't let average be, I mean, separate yourself from average, you know, and be determined that you're going to step in places where you've never stepped before. You're going to do things that you've never done before. Now, you can be doing the same thing over and over and expect different results. If you want to see and have different results, then you have to do something that you've never done before. So again, thank you for tuning in to my Step Out, Step In podcast. Um, I was trying to see if I could recognize anybody on there, but for some reason, I, I think I need to do um, my settings very well. Let's see here if I can, uh, just one moment. Okay, let's see if there's anybody. Okay, I have my brother, Charles Yabua, with me. Thank you, Charles, for, um, in fact, Reverend Charles Yabua. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, thank, thank you for tuning in. And uh, let's see. Um, who else do I have on here? Okay, uh, just one moment. Let me make some acknowledgments, though, tonight. You know, I'm trying to catch up with this. And please bear with me. I see some pounds up in there. Um, yeah. Uh, let's see who is on. Let's see here. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Mary Addo, for watching. Thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, please share. Oh, yeah, Mary says thank you. Uh, thanks for the message. Um, okay, that's my first time. Thank you, Mary. We'll connect. And I have my one and only, um, my beloved wife, Nana, you're also on. Thank you uh, for tuning in and uh, for tuning in. And don't forget, um, there are some stats in there. <laughs> you can shoot us some stats. <laughs> All right. But just before I sign off, let me do this real quick. 
you know, um, just just watch the space. I'll be right back. See, nothing seems to be working today. <laughs> okay, let's try one more time. <laughs> okay. Says God bless you. I receive it. Thank you for my one and only. Okay, now let me see here. All right, I guess I might have to just go on because nothing seems to be working today. <laughs> oh, I don't know what is going on, but that is technology. You can always get 100%. All right, so um, again, thank you all for tuning in. Uh, please, if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube page, just do that. And um, uh, don't forget to click on the notification bell so that anytime I post something, uh, you'll be notified. And um, follow me on Facebook and LinkedIn. And there's the link in there that says buy me a coffee. It's, it's, it's to promote the page, it's to make it better. And um, if, if you can click on it, at least a $5 um, donation will help. Um, no amount is too small. And again, let's connect every Monday at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And until we meet again, I wish you all an amazing and a wonderful um, day, um, week. Enjoy the rest of the week. And um, let your week be productive. And let's meet again. As you share the page, comment. And uh, thank you. Thank you all for your comment. Uh, where days do you come on on air? All right. Um, Miss Mary, I come on every Monday at 6 p.m. 6 p.m. prompt. Every Monday at 6 p.m. All right. So until we meet again. I say have a wonderful and amazing week. Let your week be fruitful and productive. And just to let you know, I love you and there's nothing you can do. Goodbye. See, I said goodbye, and he doesn't want to go away. <laughs> okay. All right, so it's now finishing up. All right, so we'll meet again. Have a blessed week. Goodbye.